What's going on guys? I hope everyone's having a good day today. Today we are back on Flint Hills and we're going to start getting some grass bales sorted. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the field we brought yesterday, or last episode. We're going to go cut it all up, get it windrow, get it rowed up into rows and then we'll bale it. Bring it back to the farm and then depending on how much longer we left we might even get started seeding. We'll see what happens. But let's get started, guys. Okay, so once since you guys were last here, we've actually went and brought a new bit of equipment. So we've got a brand new front loader. Uh, bought it completely brand new from the dealership. Last night I was calling them and I said, if you've got anything in stock, and they've got something that'd be just perfect. So this is one our brand new front loader. It's gonna be an open cab which I think is going to be quite handy for us. We've got a John Deere, I think we said it was a 60, 6410, that was right. So it's a 6410, got the front loader attachment on it, the bale spike for today just because we need it, but we've also brought a bucket, so in the future when we need it, we can use it. The only reason I didn't get a pallet fork is because if we do need pallet work done, we've got the forklift anyway, so it's not really needed at the moment when we're kind of be careful with money. So today, the weather's looking good, so this is why I want to get into the field today. Just because looking at the rest of the week, we've got a bit of rain coming. So I thought today I'll get this done, and then hopefully we might be able to get some planting done today and tomorrow. And then we should be good to go, is the plan. So guys, we're going to get down to the field. I've already dropped the rest of the equipment off, so we don't have to worry about that. All the other equipment's down there, it's just this one bit. I wanted to show you guys it before we got started so that you can enjoy it with me as well. Right, let's just let that open up. I always feel like that's going to fall on my head one day, I have to say. <laughs> I really do feel it. Oh, wrong button. Right, let's close that. I did put it on there, didn't I? Yeah, perfect. Right, you're also going to see that I did put in a new, the new gate. So this gate is now going to stay for good. I think it's, I think it suits the house and the area a bit better. Anyway, but I think it looks quite nice. I think that's a nice looking gate. What do you guys think? But I think that's going to suit better, especially with the trees along here. But let's get going to the new farm. So it is quite a drive away, unfortunately, which is the only the only annoying bit of it. But what we'll do is we'll smack a bit of music on, we'll drive down there, and we'll get going from there. Talk to you guys in a minute. That's us here. All the equipment's here. All we've left out is the flatbed and the trailer, and then the rest of it is in this shed here. So let's get in here and we'll get some of our equipment out. Here we go. I'm hoping the neighbours don't get too angry. We normally only do this, I think it'll be one day of the year, isn't it? So I don't think it's going to be the end of the world, to be honest. In my opinion, at least. It's not going to be the end of the world, is it? So. That is the reason we brought the land, isn't it? At least we're not building more houses, is the way I see it. <laughs> it's probably quite a bad way of seeing it, but that's how we'll see it. <laughs> right, guys, we're going to get into the field. So what we're going to do is I'm literally just going to get going with this anyway. So I feel I don't want to start on this bit here. I'll start on a bit further out and see how much we actually get because if we get enough uh, there's no point plowing more than I'm going to not plowing mowing I keep saying plowing mowing more than we actually need that's how I kind of feel about it so I'm going to get started here do a bit of a time lapse and then we'll see where we get to 
I'll catch you guys in a minute.
almost the end of the bales. We have a lot more bales than I thought we'd have. I even went with a bigger bale size and we still have a heck of a lot of bales. We're really going to need somewhere to fit this, but I think when we get back to the yard, we might look at which sheep pen we want to buy. I'm not sure what kind of design. I wonder if we should stick with the red. I feel like that's probably the best idea. We're sticking with the red theme we got on the farm. Maybe if we can find a nice wooden theme, we might be able to do well with that. But that is our fields completely done. Right. Let's see if I can get this little bit empty. So the same size, yeah. I don't know why, but they're really dark in texture for some reason, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see why that is. I'm not 100 percent more sure why. But this tractor's done with now. Now I'm gonna bring in the flatbed and the tractor and we're gonna see if how good I am actually loading these because I feel like we've done more than enough time maps in today so I'm not going to put you through another one don't worry but we need to see how good we're actually going to do at this because as you guys saw with the pallets I was no good bales I feel like I want to say I'm better at but we'll find out I guess it's the best way to explain it the only way we're going to learn is if we find out. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this. I feel like there's more down here, so I'll pop it down here. And we'll go get it. Right. Time for a long run back to the vehicle. Oh, that was a long run. I should have put this nearer last time. <laughs> right. Now. Now for the proper challenge. Let's try and load some bales. I've already screwed up trying to collect the first bale. That's a good start. <laughs> oh god. Uh, right, let's... Hope we're lined up here. Oh, I forgot about that. We're going to be too heavy to pick them up, aren't we? Bugger. Oh, I forgot all about that. Let me give someone a call and I'll be back in two minutes. I think we've got it. We'll find out. Hopefully, this weight will just do it. I think, hopefully it will. <laughs> luckily, luckily the clouds dropped us off a nice, big, heavy, thousand kilogram weight. <laughs> ah. Okay, maybe it didn't do as good as before. Damn, these are big. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, they were a lot bigger than I thought they were. Problem. Okay. We have to remember that for next time. That once again, the pickup or the flatbed that we decided to choose is not the right thing. A few moments later. That's us finally loaded. It definitely took me a sweet while. However, we got it all on here, which I think is perfect. But I am thinking of moving these two bells at the top and putting them over there. Oh, let's not get stuck in there. This is a very dangerous time right now. I feel like let's do it one at a time. So at least there's one something there.
Oh, let's reverse a little bit. Should be good there. Oh. Nope. It's not going to let us right. Let's get rid of all. Don't know why I'm going that way. Should go that way, shouldn't I? Ah, so this is the bale that we got a little bit too less than. Aha, uh -huh, right. Oh, it's done it again. Now, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Every time I click the mouse button, it will move back for some reason. It will move to the other tractor. Hmm, that's weird. Right, let me quickly lock that again. So that one's in, that one's in. It's just the top one worth to move again in a second. Right. What we'll do is we'll get these back to the farm. And then... I think we'll call it a day. The next episode, we'll build our brand new sheep pen. And then we'll get into the field and start seeding. Or... Hmm. Actually, no. Hmm. We're either do some seeding or we'll build the sheep pen. We'll figure it out though. We'll see what's needed more. Because we definitely do need to get crop in the ground at the moment. However, we've only just come into season to start planting soybeans anyway. So it's not like we don't have any time either. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. I am curious to what I come up with. But, whatever I do come up with, it will be that I'm being smart about it. That is for sure. <laughs> but, let's get this one done and then we can get back to the farm. What I'll d I did debate leaving one tractor down here, but I just don't think oh, I've done it again. Sorry about that, guys. I need to find out what's causing that. I don't know if for some reason maybe I've set it up wrongly that the mouse button tab to vehicles maybe. I kind of wish we had a bit of space to put this on the back, but oh well. Ah, oh, 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 oh. No, 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 there we go. But to be honest, that is going to last us probably two years so next year maybe we'll make silage bales and then we can just sell them is what I'm thinking unless we get into cat of course oh I'm going the wrong way again but this is what happens when I'm talking I don't exactly like do as good so I'm going to blame all my bad farm work on talking I think that's the way forward Make me feel a bit better about how bad I am at it. Is that just in the right spot? No. There we go. Right, that's that done. That's that all good. I believe. Perfect. Right. What we'll do, let's get this back. And then we can look to what we need to do next. So we'll line this equipment up to get it driven back to the farm. Oh, don't break the baler. That's that equipment ready to go back. I did debate putting the sheep down here. But I would rather it at the farm, I think. Because it isn't exactly a kind of like a clear route to get to. So I feel like it's a bit better if we... Kind of... Have our route ready. If that makes sense. I think it makes sense. To me, in my head, it makes sense at least. But what we'll do, let's get back to the farm. And then we'll see what, ne what next is to do. So that 
has gone completely wrong. <laughs> okay. Right, we're finally back. <laughs> well, it's working. It's not tipped over now. Right, let's try this again. We're obviously going to take it a lot slower than I thought, which is not ideal. But if it's what we got to do, it's what we got to do. I've taken that way too quick again. I think I'm going to go straight rather than round just to save all in over again. Right, we... I'm debating which way is quicker because basically, so we're here. We need to get to here. We're pretty much our only way is around there, but I know there's a service road there, but we're just we're not going to get up to speed on that highway. So our only option is this way. Because there's no road through here, which is actually really annoying. I kind of wish there was. And I'm going to double check to make sure there isn't. But from what I know, there isn't. Uh, don't fall, don't fall. down for this so this is not going to be fun are we even going to fit under here thinking about it yeah we'll fit or actually when we go up the ramp yeah we'll fit right oh my that was not good so because we're going to be building our sheep pen round here I feel like it's the best idea to move the bale storage to round here as well so for now I think we'll just store this over by the silos and then we should be all good and then once we get it we'll put them all away I think is our best bet so let me quickly pull this in here I was pull up along here oh soon as get an auger wagon for these actually I've forgotten all about that guys oh, gosh there's so many bits of equipment we still need that we just haven't got around to buy <laughs> but yeah right they're there they're done for now oh they're all done so i think that's going to be us for this episode guys thanks for all watch thanks for everyone watching make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel deeply appreciate it lets me know that you guys are enjoying it but also pop in the comments below what you're enjoying and what you're not enjoying as much because then i'll know what to do for next time that's going to be all from me. Hope you all have a good day. Peace.